Freddy's has a new burger on its menu, the grilled cheese steak burger. Four slices of cheese, tomato soup? Let's see. Hi, I have a pickup order for Zach. Thank you. You too, thanks. All right, and here comes the fun part, actually trying it out. Hey everyone, Zach Attack here. Today we're reviewing Freddy's new grilled cheese steak burger. All right, here it is. Let's open that up. Okay, it's gonna have two premium steak burger patties, two slices of American cheese, two slices of Swiss cheese, two slices of apple wood bacon, a savory tomato spread. When I first read this, I was thinking more like a, a salty ketchup or something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I've, I looked it up. According to Freddy's, the tomato spread is intended to resemble the taste of tomato soup to kind of give you like the grilled cheese, you know, being dipped in tomato soup kind of feeling and taste. We'll see how that works out. And this is all on top of two slices of thick cut Texas toast. The burger alone is 1,080 calories. The price for a combo is $12.69, which includes a small fry, a medium drink, and the burger. If you want to do a la carte, uh, the burger is $9.19 alone. Yeesh. Man, that is so expensive. Freddy's in general, I think, their menu, their whole menu is pretty expensive. Speaking of grilled cheese, grill some cheese on top of that like button down below. It really helps out the channel. All right, now to go in with the close-up cam. They already cut it in half for me here. Let's see if I can just take the top off of one of these halves. All right, cool, yeah, that works out. All right, as you're seeing, that tomato spread there, they put quite a bit on it from what I can see here. Slices of cheese there on top of there. We've seen the applewood bacon. Got the two patties there. Getting all that Swiss and American cheese on top there. All right, that wraps that up. Is this burger picture perfect? Of course, it's already sliced. Let me see, how was the picture? It was something like this. <laughs> something like this. Let's see, I'm just looking at it. Right, I'm gonna move it over here just so I can put the preview, but um, I think this is actually pretty close to what they advertise online. I would say, is it picture perfect? I would say it's darn close. Pretty darn close. All right, and then just a quick 360 here of this item. Nice cross-section already for us, courtesy of Freddy's. Dr. Pepper, without further ado, let's go in for the attack. Those patties, always on point at Freddy's here. The bacon is super tasty. That tomato spread is coming through very lightly. Not really catching it there uh, with you know in the bites here. So I may just get a fry or something and just scrape some off just to see if I can get a really good profile of the spread. But um, it, it's kind of lacking. It looked looked like it was on there pretty thick, but maybe they need to add a little bit more on there uh, to give you that really to give it a really strong taste. Um, I may just be confusing it for like ketchup or something, but uh, we'll see. A lot of cheese, a lot of cheese on this one, <laughs> but uh, it's coming across more than anything as a burger. So uh, this is a burger. <laughs> Swiss and American cheese, it's melted on there really nicely. Overall, it's tasting really delicious. So let's go ahead and get a fry, see if I can uh, kind of taste it here. Yeah, it's just uh, that spread does taste a little bit more like a uh, a ketchup, like a like a savory, a more savory ketchup. Not really, not really reminding me of tomato soup in any way, but it's still pretty good. All right, let's go over the good and the bad. Uh, overall, the the patties always, like I said, always on point at Freddy's here. The bacon, the cheese, they're all meshing really nicely. It's really delicious. The patties season nicely. The cheese. That tomato spread is adding an extra touch there. This burger is pretty great overall. And also the temperature was is pretty hot. They made it fresh to order. Uh, so really happy with that. Now to go over the bad. Uh, the only bad note that I'm catching on this one is that there's not enough of that tomato spread. I would like to have a little bit more just so I can get a really good taste for it, a really good feel for you know the whole tomato soup <laughs> grilled cheese experience that they uh, said online, that Freddy's had said online about. That's really the only thing. Overall, it's good. The, the Texas toast is good. Not as thick as I had imagined from the description they provided online either. Now it's time to rate the grilled cheese steak burger from Freddy's. I'm gonna rate this burger a 7.6. I would love to get this again. It's it's pretty good. Uh, if, if you're not a fan of cheese, I wouldn't get it. Uh, that tomato spread is 
very similar to ketchup. There's not a lot on there, so uh, don't let that deter you from getting it and trying it out. Uh, the price though, eesh, yikes. I would say a solid 7.6 on this one. You know, it's, it's overall pretty great. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Zach Attack sign off, and I'll see you on the next one.